Magnets are used in many ways. Telephones. Cabinet doors. Tools. Refrigerator doors. Doorbells. Automobile engines. Magnets work for us every day in more ways than you might imagine. But what is a magnet, you ask? A magnet looks like this. Or like this. A magnet can be any shape, any size, any color. But just any object can't be a magnet. It has to be made of the right materials. Is it made of the right materials? Is the candlestick holder made of the right material? Sneaker made of the right material. Will it pick up paper clips? Oh well. Would you like to know how to make a magnet? Here's how to make a magnet. Start with a factory. A magnet factory is best because it will contain all the materials, tools, and machines that you'll need. Go to the materials department and mix together just the right measurements of metal materials. The metal materials can be a large solid form or in small pieces. The important thing is that the material is metal. The metals used here are aluminum, nickel, and cobalt. Now. Heat up the mixture in a furnace at a very high, very hot temperature. While that's cooking, decide what shape you want your magnet to be and make a mold of that shape. You can make more than one magnet at a time in the mold. Pour the hot metal liquid mixture into the mold. Push it aside to let it cool. When cool, break the shape from the mold. Grind away extra pieces. Test it for size and strength. Now, it's ready to become a magnet. Just mixing the metals into another form doesn't make a magnet. through a special process with electricity. The metal shape is magnetized. And that's how to make a magnet. If you've ever had a magnet, you may have noticed that it didn't come with instructions. What makes magnets work? How do they do what they do? Let's take a closer look. A magnet is something solid that will pull things. What things? Iron, steel, nickel, or anything made from those metals. This magical pulling action is called magnetic attraction. And quite simply, magnetic attraction is what makes the world go round. The things a magnet attracts are called magnetic materials. If magnets only attract magnetic materials, are any of these things magnetic? The ball is made of rubber. Will rubber be attracted to a magnet? Is rubber a magnetic material? The frog is made of wood. 
Will the wood be attracted by the magnet? Is wood magnetic? A plastic railroad car? Will plastic be attracted to the magnet? Is plastic magnetic material? How about a metal car? Metal? Is metal magnetic material? You bet it is. Bread and peanut butter and jelly? A glass of milk? There must be an easier way. Magnets are made of metal materials. And magnets attract only metal materials. Now, what could you do if you could make your own magnet? any magnetic materials. The needles are made of steel. Will the needle pick up the paper clips? No. First the needle has to be magnetized. Stroke the entire length of each needle with one end of the magnet. Does the needle work like a magnet? Now think about this. Once an object has been magnetized, can it lose its magnetic power? If a magnet is pounded, or heated, or if a magnet is dropped, it may no longer act as a magnet. Does it still have its magnetic attraction? Magnetic attraction takes place in an area around a magnet. The area is called a magnetic field, and every magnet has a magnetic field. You can discover the size and shape of a magnetic field by watching the effect of a magnet on some iron filings. Do most of the iron filings gather around the middle of the magnet, or the ends of the magnet? Most of them gather at the ends, because that's where the magnetic attraction is the strongest. The end of a magnet is called the pole, and every magnet has two poles. A north-seeking pole, sometimes marked with the letter N. The letter S marks a south-seeking pole. Will magnets attract each other? Let's see. These two poles are different, or we say, unlike, and they attract. Unlike, attract. What about two poles that are the same, or as we say, like? Will they attract? No. They push each other away. This pushing away is called repelling. Like poles repel, Unlike poles, attract. The poles on a magnet are named for the poles of the Earth. The North Pole and the South Pole. A compass is used to find directions. Every compass needle is a magnet. And since unlike poles attract, 
the south pole of a compass needle will always point to the north pole of the Earth. The compass needle will always line up in a north-south position. Whatever their shape or size, all compasses use magnets to do the work of finding directions. You can play with magnets. What's being used to shape the iron filings into a mustache? You guessed it, a magnet. What keeps the metal objects from falling? Uh-huh, it's a magnet. What holds the letters to the metal board? Behind every letter, there's a magnet. Magnets are used in many places for training and research. The very special, very powerful magnets in this underground ring are used by scientists to understand energy and many other things about how the world works. Magnets may even hold the key to the future.